Making our way through a road at the Star of the West property. Lots of cross ditches on this one. There's a river down in the middle there. So far today we've checked a bunch of roads all on that side. Didn't find too much, but what we're in, interested in is this side here. Lots of oxidation in the soils and uh, rocks here. I haven't found too much mineralization so far, but it's somewhere. We'll do some traversing up these creeks when it's not so icy. Just a big sheet of ice going up there. Some quartz cutting through there with epidote. Same with right here. There's quite a few of those. There's a lot of creeks here cutting through this area. And just when we've about finished for the day, did a lot of driving and hiking on roads. Overgrown ones, new logging roads, we finally come across the showing here. We're going to take some samples off this. So what we've actually figured out is the lens is a little smaller over here. It gets wider and wider as you go here. It's faulted off slightly right here and continues up where it is about 40 centimeters wide, continues up there, and again, faults it off there and continues up that way. So we don't see any other mineralization in the area. We've, we've searched all around. Here you have calcopyrite, pyrite, pyrotite, and some bornite and magnetite. We pulled off a bunch of samples. A lot of them are still really weathered, but we'll show you some of the massive sulfides. So all this on the bottom here is massive magnetite. You have a few specks of pyrite and pyrotite in there. You can see you have little stringers cutting through magnetite. Most of the massive samples are pretty rusty like this. Magnetite with pyrite and pyrotite. A little bit of calcopyrite in there. Patchy calcopyrite. Here's a nice one showing a nice clean face. A little oxidation. You can see the sulfides a bit better there. And again here as well. Here you got a nice little area here where you have calcopyrite on the top. Again, same with up here. Some magnetite in the middle there.
and this is a massive hunk here massive sulfides and this was pulled out from that lens area here where J2 is working two more samples here Hard to get an unweathered surface. 